Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. I am Shekhar Gupta on a beautiful Bangalore morning in front of Vidhan Saudha. And my guest today, perhaps the only person who's given Congress party some reasons to smile. Sidramaya Ji, yeah. Chief Minister, welcome to Walk the Talk. Thank you, thank you. I thank said you, you are the, perhaps the only person who's given Congress party some reasons to smile, not once but twice in recent times. Not I am alone, but uh, in the with the leadership of Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi. In Karnataka, Congress party won with a comfortable majority. With Mainly, some help from BJP? Of course, it is also there because there was a division in BJP. It also helped to a certain extent, but not totally. But uh, the misrule of the BJP government and their corruption, the people of Karnataka were fed up with the non-performance of the government. That's why they voted Congress party this time. And of course, their division, the instability of the government, and all those things, factors are also contributed. And then you had your double bonus. You defeated the Gaudas in those two parliament by-elections. Ah. I know you love the Gaudas. <laughs> <laughs> this, those two constituencies are supposed to be stronghold of Mr. Deva Gauda. Yes. Deva Gauda was under the impression that nobody could defeat him. I can see the smile on your face when you say that. Of course, naturally. Right. <laughs> because those two constituencies are very important constituencies for the Congress party. And we won in both the constituencies with comfortable majority. So what is his special love affection with Mr. Deva Gauda and Kumar Swami? Not that uh, Kumar Swami and we were together for so many years. Right. Deva Gauda, myself, Kumar Swami were in Janta when, when I was in Janta then. We were together and uh, that comradeship was there when we were in Janta then. So they, uh, thrown, the, the, they have suspended me from the party and uh, they expelled me from the party. That's why I have to join Congress party. But what caused the fight? Because you were very close to them. See, the main reason for expelling me because I started organizing Ahinda, that is Bagel Classes Minority Schedule Cards right. in Karnataka. So they did not tolerate it. And they told me to not to organize Ahinda rally. But I told them, no, this is, uh, these are the vulnerable sections of the society. I have to organize them and I have to go with them. What is the name, Mahinda? That is Minorities right. in Canada, Alpa Sankhya through Hindu Dauru, Dalitru. In English, Minorities, Sharukas, and Bhagodkas. It's like in the Hindi heartland, we say Ajgar, Majgar. Ah, MY, yes, sir, it is like that only. MY, etc. Et yes, right. So that so, caused the tension. Ah, that, uh, that did not tolerate. That's why they have expelled me from the party. And I was deputy chief minister at that time in Dharam Singh's government. There was a coalition government, you know, you are, yes, I you are well aware we, of it. We interviewed Mr. Dharam Singh right here, in fact. Yes, yes. It was a coalition government. And uh, Dharam Singh dropped me from the cabinet also. Right. And I started in the movement. And uh, after some time, on the invitation of Congress party, I joined Congress party. So how much is the Ahinda population in Karnataka? What percentage of vote, the voters are in Ahind this? Ahinda minority caste Dalit? Ahinda population would be more than 70 percent. 70 percent? More than 70 percent in Karnataka. Uh -huh. So <clears throat> once you get them together, then the two dominant communities don't matter, Vokaligas and Lingayats. No, see all these communities have not totally come together. Right. Because still, this uh, awareness is to be, should be, you must inject awareness in the minds of the Bhagavad Gita, Sarukha, Sharmana. They are not totally, they are united. So do you see yourself as Lalu Yadav or Murayam Singh Yadav of Karnataka? No, I, I can't compare with, uh, with Lalu Yadav or Murayam Singh Yadav or Mayavati in the country. They are different. Karnataka is a different state. Why do you say so? Because it is a cosmopolitan uh, this thing, state. Here, the political awareness is uh, more comparatively. Oh, it's more than in UP and Bihar? Yes, of course. How do you say so? It's because you can see the 
elections and the result of the elections you can see the people of karnataka are very uh, politically uh, more knowledge, knowledgeable people and all that it is there that's why the modi specter is not working here in karnataka aha uh-huh. and you think it will not work in national elections also definitely not because modi had come here in the by election by, ele- by not by elections in the, the assembly election. assembly elections he toured in the coastal area where we won seven seats out of eight hmm. we are moily addressed the election meetings why socialism did not grow so much in the south particularly in karnataka until till lokia was uh, alive there was socialist party movement was there in karnataka gopal gowda right a big leader here in karnataka gopal gowda and the sanch stanch socialist till the, after the uh, emergency the socialist party also joined in the janta party janta party, yes. janta party samstha congress and other parties at the time socialist party also joined in janta right. party right till then there were uh, some mls were also in the assembly parliament right. mr jayesh patel right. the former chief minister right. he was right. a socialist mr bangarappa he is a socialist now kagod timhappa is a speaker of the assembly right. he was also in socialist party so i hear about your very special friendship with mulayam singh yadav because we were together in janta party right and he was also uh, with socialist background right that's why i like mr mulayam singh hans tell us a little more about this uh, see not much uh, so association with mr mulayam singh yadav but i i know him as he was in janta party and he was in socialist party i know him. so um, what was your view on Devagoda's party joining hands with BJP because you know it was on the secular under the secular flag that he was made prime minister. This India. is an opportunistic uh, politics because Devagoda always claiming that he is a secular man right. and his party is a secular party because it's a JDS right. Janata Dal secular. secular. Yes. But still they formed the government with the help of BJP. His son became the chief minister. Right. and uh, again they have, they have colluded to fight congress party and uh, there is no commitment to secularism so when did you realize in that party that there was no commitment to secularism see t- as long as we were there in janta dal there was no scope for the devagoda or kumar swami to join hands with because right, they were right. opposing seriously they had to get you out yes right. after that they started uh, talking to bjp and they joined with them hmm. because devagoda had taken a very strong line on industry against in- industry in fact against it also he said they are land grabbers in fact he fought with me also he said your friend narayan murthy hmm. is building a land bank of course that uh, impression he is having i don't know that uh, is uh, view on this is that uh, if we encourage it industry or bt industry it won't help the State. develop in rural area and right. all that he says right. what is your view my view is you have to develop both urban area and both rural area right simultaneously then only the state will grow right so did you have arguments with devagoda on this no no why Because there is no opportunity for for me to discuss with him. No, but when you were in the party, ah, uh, then we were discussing. Right. Of course, I was in when I was in Janata Party. We were all right. discussing all this issue. Right. But uh, during uh, Janata Janata Dal government, you were encouraging IT BT also. Right. Because there is an impression that you are also not friendly to industry. That is not correct. that is otherwise i would not have gone to china huh. if no. i have no interest uh, no I, people i am not friendly with the industry people say after going to china you have changed a little bit no no it's not correct it's not totally co- it is not correct i am always uh, for both industry and agriculture sector we have to uh, 
focus on both the agriculture sector and also industrial sector. And now the most tricky question, mining? Mining, of course, you see the CEC and the Supreme Court. They have categorized 52 right. licenses. Now you have cancelled them. Uh -huh. All the 52 you have cancelled. Right. And uh, we have to go for the action, those with the license which have been cancelled. So when will you carry out those auctions? That I have to taking up the meeting. So you can tell me which are the new, what are the new skill capacities that, that are coming up where you could use this ore if you don't want to export it. Right now I don't have the correct figures. Right. But uh, some steel plant they, they have met me, and we have discussed with them, and uh, we are at it. Which which industrial groups? Sir? That is Aditya. Aditya Birla. Uh, Aditya groups are there. Vedanta. Vedanta groups are there. I see. But 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 you are not hostile to them. No, I am not. I am not hostile to them. And only thing is, it should be according to the law. Law. And you are not hostile to mining per se. No, I am not hostile. Only I am against illegal mining. Ha. That in any case, hmm. illegal mining that because even I I took out a you took out a parayatra from here to Ballari. Ha. Only against illegal mining. Hmm. So. At that point, what percentage of mining was illegal there? See, there is a report of Loka right. and also CEC report. But uh, there was a lot of illegal mining.